play concluded Tuesday at Prospect Bay Country Club in Graysonville, Maryland, as 24 teams competed in the 15th annual Whiting Turner Towson Invitational. The only thing lower than the scores were the temperatures, as three days of chilly, wet, and windy conditions push scores several strokes above par. On day one, the Tigers got off to a quick start thanks to the play of Matt Fry. The junior was two under through nine holes, but struggled closing out his round and never really got back on track. Fry shot an opening round 76, followed by a 78 and an 84 to finish tied for 49th. Also on day one, junior Adam Stasek, playing for the Tigers' second entry into the 24-team field, carded Towson's low round of the day with a three over 75. He followed that up with rounds of 77 and 81 to finish in a tie for 30th place in the 119 golfer field. Day two saw the Tigers' lone senior, Ken G, make a big statement after shooting an opening round 80. G went low Monday morning, opening his round with an eagle and a birdie. He notched 14 pars and just two bogeys on his way to a one under 71. G was one of just five golfers in the field to shoot a round under par. He shot a final round 81 and finished in a tie for 24th. The newest member of the Towson men's golf team, sophomore Sam Stewart, also shot his best round of the three-day tournament on day number two. Stewart was just one over through his first nine holes on day two, but ran into a little trouble on the back nine as weather conditions began to deteriorate, finishing with a five over 77. For the tournament, Stewart was 18 over par and finished in a tie for 37th. The Tigers' most consistent golfer of the weekend was junior Joe Gunnerman. Gunnerman's opening round was nearly derailed on the 11th hole, but watch as he holes out this shot from a greenside bunker. That birdie moved Gunnerman to one over in his opening round. He finished with a 77. On day two, Gunnerman shot a four over 76. On day three, the conditions were not kind as Gunnerman and the rest of the Tigers struggled to make their way around the course. However, this 30-footer kept Gunnerman from posting an 80 and allowed him to finish in a tie for 24th. It wasn't the best days. It's, it's certainly a little bit disappointing. Uh, but to look at the upside, uh, we're playing in conditions that are really windy, a um, little chilly, and our conference championship down at um, St. James is always a very windy place. So while our scores weren't good, we get a little more experience playing in the wind. Um, this will probably benefit us down the road. Once they calm down, I mean, Ryan Siegler today, freshman, he didn't play very well, to you know, put it mildly on the front, but he had a, a great back nine, just sort of settled in. And that's what they need to do. They need to calm down, they need to relax, they need to enjoy college golf and play the same game they've played since they've been eight years old, and don't worry about it because they're good players instead of putting any, any undue pressure on themselves. Having all our players play in this was good. They, they all have experience since we'd, we're not quite sure who's going to be the five that, that go down to the conference championship. I think playing in the wind, if we're going to look for an upside, the upside will be that we should be better wind players when we get out of here than when we came here. Hey, Tiger Town, be a part of the uproar and get your Towson lacrosse tickets today. Get ready to wear your black and gold and be a part of the excitement as head coach Sean Madlin and the Tigers face off against tough competition in Johnny United Stadium. See the Tigers battle Massachusetts presented by Under Armour on Saturday, April 6th at 1 p.m. in Johnny United Stadium. For tickets, visit TowsonTigers.com or call 1-855-TU-TIGER. Don't miss out. 